I'm Hans. Um, I'm one of the 3D artists here at Edgecase, and um, I've been working on primarily the um, enemy AI small ships uh, or frigates, whatever you want to call them, uh, for the last end mod, so the kind of primary enemy. What we started out with was um, a few kind of initial loose um, environment block arts from Willis. Alex made a bunch of really cool, um, simple block arts for the AI frigates for me. Um, and I've kind of taken those um, initial block arts that um, he, um, he's done for those and just kind of been putting my own spin on them, trying to make them look all quite distinct from each other. Just trying to, um, trying to make something that you can kind of instantly pick out that range and say, okay, that's a, that's a beam ship coming at me or that's a self-destructing ship coming at me. I probably want to shoot that before it gets to me. What sets these um, new ships uh, apart from existing ones, uh, obviously scale um, is a big one. Um, these, um, these medium frigates are more in the 350, 400 meter range, um, whereas um, our smallest capital ships are about 800 meters long. What's been quite fun to do with these, um, with these AI frigates, um, given the size of them, is that they're not quite capital ship size, but they're almost in the same ballpark. So you get to you get to work with the same, almost the same sense of scale as you do with these capital ships. But um, at the same time, the, the actual workflow for building this is quite different, and um, you can kind of just focus more on making something that looks really cool at that scale is really optimized. I've been primarily working on the AI frigates and. Um, ship skins for this mod. I've done something with them that is not on any other skin in the game So I think people will really like them. Uh, I don't want to spoil too much um, But they uh, they've got this really cool kind of um, animated energy thing panning through the ship um, to um, Make it look like it's proper alive with the uh, with the AI inside of it. So um, Yeah, I really hope people will like those <laughs> Hello I am Alex, I am lead artist at Edge Case Games, I am also Ginger Gladiator in-game. I have been developing the kind of visuals for Last Stand for the last couple of months, um, including most of the environment art, the looks of the ships, um, the overall tone, everything really. I guess what makes Last Stand visually different from the other modes we've seen in Fracture Space is that we're somewhat bound by need for a common structure in the lanes in Conquest. Um, Final Stand involves waves of ships attacking the base, so they have to capture the forward stations in either Alpha, Beta or Delta to gain access to the Zarek home base. But as far as game mechanics go, it's the only real similarity in Conquest. I worked closely with Willis to create some rough blockouts of the sectors. We wanted to have less asteroids and more structures to fight around, which meant a lot of new Zarek structures to build. The main base is built mainly using components that create a sprawling facility. The three forward sectors are built around three islands of terrain. Each has its own sub-theme and shape language that sets them apart from one another. Alpha has a canyon theme, which with large vertical rocks in the middle of the map dividing the play space, the AOAs jump in behind and move around these obstacles to kind of attack the forward stations. Beta is a superheated mountain range with a sparse thermal capture installation. Zarek uses this sector to capture and store energy for the use in the Zarek uh, research facility. Delta is somewhat inspired by the Giant's Causeway, with an island of rock made of stepped pillars of mineral-rich rock that Zarek mined to develop future special weapons. This sector features a low-key mining outpost. Inspiration-wise for making these sectors, um, I wanted to create a very industrial group of sectors that were less about mining, more about weapons research and deep drilling. The themes are still loosely based around resource gathering, but with more emphasis on colonised installations. Now, people and AI need a reason to be in these locations while investing so much time and resources building these structures. It just shows a more shady and industrialised side to Zarek. I guess this is the first time we've seen a Zarek built base. Um, most of the ones in the game at the moment are USR. It's a very brutalist style and I wanted to reflect this in the shapes and the layout of the structures. Um, the buildings are kind of very faceted in their design, mainly cubic and hexagon shapes. The forms are extremely functional and the hangars are built to house, say, like a gladiator or something maybe even bigger. 
We looked at a lot of Soviet-era architecture and wanted to create a visual theme with the buildings. This also extends to the perimeter wall that acts as cover to the base. We haven't really got any TDS um, structures in the game at the moment, but um, Zarek obviously refines and mines an awful lot of metal, which they've been selling to USR and TDS for a very long time. USR, they've obviously got their structures, so it wouldn't surprise me if there were some pretty massive installations hidden away that we haven't quite explored yet. I guess my favourite thing that I've kind of been working on the last stand has just really just been able to get a chance to tell some stories in the Fracture Space universe. Uh, this game's a real passion of mine and I've been designing and building spaceships and environments for the last four years and it's it's been great to kind of develop a new game mode with story elements and that's something we haven't really done before and it's kind of helped us to really push the visuals and kind of up our game artistically. There's a, a lot of new stuff going into this update. Um, it's really exciting and I think we're at a point now where we want to start really fleshing out the Fracture Space universe. I'm still waiting for the movies or you know, the upcoming Amazon series, so and, and until then we we'll just have to kind of add some more lore into the game and provide some interesting backstories and new characters.